Hey everyone, this is David from Affi Forex. In this video, we are going to take a look at top 20 forex brokers for scalping. We've chosen these 20 brokers from more than 100 forex brokers. Most of them are registered on MyFX Book, a website that keeps track of more than 10,000 trading accounts with 100 registered brokers. So our data are gathered from the 10 plus thousand accounts and we did that for about one month. We've tested all these brokers based on three main factors, regulation of the broker, spreading commission and the order execution speed of their MT4 platform. We're going to cover an overview of the brokers in this video. So for more information about them you can check out our website. The link is in the description below. So without further ado, let's see these top 20 forex brokers for scalping. Number 1. The first broker in our list is Hot Forex. Founded in 2010, Hot Forex has been one of the fast growing brokers in the industry. With holding six regulations from regulatory bodies around the world, this broker is highly regulated. The issuing account of the broker is called Zero Spread, and this is the account we've tested for our study. We give an A plus for spreads and commissions of Hot Forex Zero account, A for limit order execution speed, and A plus for market order execution speed. The minimum deposit for this account is $200. Number 2. The second broker is FB Markets. It's one of the best brokers in our list. It's founded in 2005 and regulated by Australian regulatory body. One of the top two regulatory in the industry. FE Markets has several ECN types of accounts, from the raw with the minimum deposit of 100 Australian dollars to Premier with the minimum deposit of 50,000 Australian dollars. The commissions get lower in larger size accounts, such as the Premier account. We give free A to this broker for spread and commissions limit order execution speed and the market order execution speed. Number 3 Pacific Financial Derivatives or PFD is a New Zealand forex broker founded in 1999. PFD is regulated by Financial Market Authority which is the regulatory body of New Zealand. The broker has very tight spreads and only $1 commission per side, which make the cost of trades very low for the clients of this broker. It has two types of ECN accounts, Pro and Pro Plus. There is no minimum deposit for the Pro account, but Pro Plus has the minimum deposit of $1,000. 3A plus are the scores that this broker deserves for its spreads and commissions, empty for limit order execution speed, and market order execution speed. Number 4. Our next broker for scalping is Intertrader. Intertrader is a part of GVC Holdings, a large sports betting and gaming group. The broker is founded in 2010 and regulated by JFSC, a regulatory body that follows the same standards as UK regulatory FCA. It has two types of accounts, spread betting and CFD. CFD is the ECN account of the broker with lower cost of trades, however the spread betting is tax free for the UK residents. Intertrader received 3A plus for the spreads in commission, MT4 limit order, and market order execution speed. The minimum deposit for the ECN account of the broker is $500.
Number 5. Go Markets is another Australian broker on our list. It was founded in 2006 and regulated by Australian regulatory body ASIC. The easing account of the broker is called Go Plus, with the minimum deposit of $500. Go Markets showed a very good performance on our test and deserves 3A plus for its present commissions. MT4 limited market order execution speed. Number 6. The list of top notch Australian brokers continues with IC Markets. IC Markets was founded in 2007 and regulated by ASIC. It has three main types of accounts 2 MT4 and 1 C Trader. The commission of the MT4 raw for one lot is $3.5 per side while it's $3 for C-Trader, so the cost of trades are lower on the C-Trader account. Spurzing commissions of this broker get an A+. Empty for limited order execution speed receives another A+, and the market order execution speed sees a B+. The minimum deposit is $200. Number 7. Just to Trade Online was founded in 2006 and regulated by Cypress regulatory body, CISEC. CISEC is a strong regulatory that follows EU financial laws. The broker has two types of ECN accounts, Forex ECN and MT5 Global. The main differences between them are platforms and commission. Forex ECN is an MT4 account with a commission of $3 per side for one lot, while MT5 Global is an account based on MT5 with a lower commission $2 per side for every lot. Just to trade received an A for S trading commission, an A plus for limit order execution speed, and B for market order execution speed. The minimum deposit for the ECN account is $200. Number 8. Founded in 2014, Kickmill is one of the rather new brokers in the trading world. It's regulated by three regulatory bodies, including reputable FCA. It has two types of ECN accounts named Pro and VIP. The minimum deposit and commission are the main differences between these two accounts. $100 for Pro, but for opening a VIP account you have to deposit at least $50,000. However, the cost of trade is lower in VIP account and is half of the Pro account. The brokers shown very good performance on all our tests with a steady score of A. Number 9. Australian brokers take the lead on our list, and now we have another one named Pepperstone. Pepperstone was established in 2010 and is highly regulated by two top tier regulatory bodies, ASIC and FCA. The Razor account is the ECN account of this broker with a minimum deposit of 200 Australian dollars. A is the score that we can give to the spreads and commission of Pepperstone and 2A plus to order execution speed both limit and market. Number 10. Rocket and Securities Australia is the next broker on our list. It's a subsidiary of Rocket and Securities Incorporated, a large Japanese broker founded in 1999. However, the Australian branch was established in 2011 and regulated by ASIC. The broker has two types of accounts, both with fixed spreads. The only difference we found between them is leverage, which is 1 to 100 for one of them and 1 to 400 for the other one. Although the broker has only fixed spread type of account, the spreads are so competitive and better than many ECN accounts of other brokers. The minimum deposit for opening an account is affordable and you can open an account as low as 
Rocket and Security Australia received a score of A on all our tests. Number 11. The list of Australian brokers goes on and on and gets to Axie Trader. Axie Trader was founded in 2007 and is highly regulated by two major regulatory bodies, ASIC and FCA. The Pro account is the easiest account of the broker with more than 140 Forex pairs, which is one of the highest ones in the industry. Axis Trader is also suitable for scalpers who want to trade with small accounts. There is no minimum deposit and you can open an account with only one dollar. Age the score that we give to the spreads and commissions of the broker and it wins 2A plus for the limited and market order execution speed. Number 12. Founded in 1999, FXCM is one of the long-serving brokers in the trading world. It's highly regulated by four regulators, including two top-tier ASIC and FCA. The broker is fully transparent and releases everything on their website, from their express to execution speed and slippage. Active trading is the ETN account of the broker, with no minimum deposits. The commission of the account is $4 per site for one lot, but it becomes lower if you trade more lots per month. The spreading commission of FXCM receives a B+, limit order execution speed A+, and market order execution speed A. Number 13. RoboForex was established in 2009 and regulated by two regulatory bodies. It has two types of ECN accounts, ECN Pro and Prime. The main differences between them are minimum deposit, leverage, and commission. Minimum deposit for ECN Pro is as low as $10, but it's $5,000 for the Prime account. However, commissions are lower on the Prime account. The account that we've tested is ECM Pro, so you'd probably pay less if you have the Prime account. And the score for the spreading commission section of our test would probably be better that way as well. B plus is the score for the ECM Pro account of RoboForex, A for limit order execution speed, and B for market order execution speed. Number 14. Being in the forex trading world since 1999, Alpari is one of the veterans of the industry. It's regulated by two regulatory bodies and has two types of ECN accounts, ECN and Pro. The initial deposit and leverage are two main differences between these two types of accounts. Alpari has a large range of local transfers for many countries that lowers the cost of trade for its clients. It receives B plus for spreading commission, A plus for limit order execution speed, and A for market order execution speed. Number 15. Glower Prime is an Australian broker founded in 2010 and regulated by ASIC. They have a very simple approach to service clients, just one type of account which is an ECN account with the minimum deposit of 200 Australian dollars and 3.5 Australian dollars commission per site for one lot. They claim that they use advanced technology to reduce slippage and execution speed and our test shows that they are true to a great extent and they deserve 2A plus for both limit and market order execution speed. B plus is the score that we can give to their spreads and commission. Number 16. Founded in 2004, FX Open has been grown rapid. They are regulated by two major regulatories. The UK branch of the FX Open is regulated by FCA, and the Australian one has the regulation of ASIC. They have several types of accounts, but the ECN one was subjected to our test. The account has different commission structures. 
In simple words, the larger lot size you trade and the larger liquidity in your account, the lower commission you pay. The B plus is the score FX Open receives for the spreading commission. However, it can get better if you trade more lots per month. The score for a limit order execution speed is A plus and market order execution speed gets B plus. Number 17. FBS was founded in 2009 and has two regulations, SISEC and IFSC. They have several types of accounts including one ECN. The commission for an ECN account is $3 per side for one lot. The broker has a very competitive spread on your USD. Considering the commission for this payor, you pay around 0.7 pips as a spread plus commission on your USD. The score of spreads in commission for this broker in general is B. Limit order execution speed is A and market order execution gets B+. Plus. Number 18. Adware Markets was founded in 2001 and is highly regulated by three regulators, ASIC, FCA, and SISI. It has four types of accounts, including two MT4 named Admiral.Markets and Admiral.Prime. The ECN one is Admiral.Prime, however on our source myfxbook.com the name of the account is Admiral Markets. So the results for expert post commission may be from admiral.markets account. If this is true, you will probably see better spreads if you choose the prime account, especially if you trade more lots. The commission can decrease from $3 per side to something like $1.8. B is the score for the spreads in commission of Admiral Markets, A plus for MT4 limit order execution speed, and A for market order execution speed. Number 19. Forex Time or FXTM was founded in 2011 and is one of the fast growing brokers in the industry. It's regulated in different countries such as Australia, Cyprus, and South Africa. It has three types of ECN accounts called ECN, ECN0, and Pro. Our ECN0 is more like an STP account with floating spreads starting from 1.5 pips with no commission. The commission for ECN account is $2 per site for one lot and it becomes lower if you trade more lots or have more equity in your account. The score of this broker for spreads and commission is a combination of all the FX team types of account. So it'd be better if it were just for ECN account. With that said, FX team receives B for spreads plus commission, A plus for limit order execution speed, and A for market order execution speed. Number 20. The last broker on our list is ATFX. Founded in 2014, ATFX is a rather new broker. It's regulated by the top regulatory body, FCA. They have several types of accounts, but the one on my FX book is ATFX Edge. So we tested the experts based on that. ADFX Edge is not the ACN account of this broker and has floating spread with no commission. The minimum deposit for this account is $5,000. ADFX also has an ECN account called Premium with a minimum deposit of $10,000. Experts on this account start from zero and the commission is from $2.5 per side for one lot. The score of a spread plus commission section of our study for ATFX is B+. However, it can be better if you choose the ECN account of the broker. Two A's are the scores for both limit and market order execution speed of ATFX. If you want to know more detail about these two brokers, you can check these posts of my blog. 
There is also a comparison table here so you can compare all these brokers based on order execution speed, regulations and the spreads in commission on 9 currency pay. I hope this video can help you find the best broker you're looking for. If you found this video helpful, please share and like it so more people can see that. Thank you for watching.